What's up YouTube and Patreon? I'm Z and this channel shows you the world through my lens. Um, sorry, I've been a little MIA. Uh, things have just been super, super hectic in my life. Um, doesn't matter. The details don't matter. Uh, I'm here now and, uh, and I'm going to try and catch up on some of those promises I made uh, in terms of reactions. Now, uh, I didn't realize that this was going to be two hours long. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to break it up into two parts, uh, because I got to wake up at like three something in the morning tomorrow, um, to go to work. So I can't do the whole thing right now, but I'm going to go halfway. So I think it's two hours and 17 long. I'm going to look around the 107, 108 minute mark and see if there's a good spot for me to maybe take an intermission. Um, and then aim to finish the second part recording wise tomorrow or Friday. One of those two. Um, and then as far as where you're watching it, this is going on Patreon tonight. Uh, but YouTube, we're going to have to wait uh, because it just takes so long to get it on YouTube. Plus, I don't even know if they're going to let me have it on there. It's probably going to get hit with so much copyright. But... I'll do my best and see, and if it doesn't make it on YouTube, then I'll, I'll do a post so that you guys are all hopefully watching this right now on Patreon. Um, okay, so I tried watching it on Netflix. It did not work. So I am using the resource that one of you gave me, Amy, maybe, on Patreon, and maybe somebody else also gave this website, but... Uh, I'm using the source here. This is a Google Drive link, so I really hope this works because for some reason the Netflix is not working on on my computer. Like I just keep getting a black screen and I've tried all sorts of things to fix it. It's just not working. So fingers crossed. Oh, hang on. I'm gonna switch this. If you surrender to the air, you can ride it. 1953. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Beyonce Homecoming 2018. Man, can you imagine being there? Oh yeah. She's decked out. Looks like a queen. Yo, I like how... I really like how her um, walk is in sync with the horns. It's those little things, those little touches um, that just sets it apart.
They're dancing like that in heels. Just want to point that out. Wow. Look at how many people are up here. I feel like that face is like so many people. Okay. Beachella, be I know now, Beachella. I think they're Let's ready. Yes. Yes. So crazy right now. Most incredibly, Chagall has be history in the making. Part two. So crazy right now. I look and stare so deep in your eyes. I touch on you. What? Is that like cut or something? Hold up. Oh, it's two different nights. I was like, yo, what just happened? It's two nights. Ah, uh, okay. Just, just want to point out, I have been quite under the weather for the last week, so I'm still coming out of my sickness. If I'm, if I'm a little slow. Mm, I like this slow down version. Oh yes. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Pull it back, pull it back. Um, I was just saying I like how they slowed down what they were playing, like every but then when she's singing it slow, oh that's nice. Let's listen again. When I talk to my friends so quietly, 
Yo, I'm pausing real quick because I think they're about to transition. That song, the way she sung it with the marching band and those dance, like it was everything. Even now as I'm saying it, I'm getting goosebumps back on my arm again. But it's those goosebump moments, right? Like you hear those words, like she's, you know, it's she, she sings the word chains uh, in the sequence of those lyrics and it just does something to you. Like in this context, seeing her on this stage with the the people that are on stage with her. Oh man, it's so powerful. It's so powerful.
We know that sound. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Baby, I'm back by popular domain. Goosebumps. Let's go. Bitch, I'm back by popular domain. I did not come to play with you hoes. I came to slay, bitch. I hate us corny with that Illuminati mess. Paparazzi catch my fly and my cocky fresh. I'm so reckless when I rock my Givenchy dress. I'm so possessive, so I rock his rock necklaces. My daddy, Alabama. I'm a Louisiana. You mix that Negro with that Creole, make the Texas Bama. <laughs> Let's go. I'm so glad she did that song. It's iconic. Listen, at this point, it's crazy because, like, I'm still, I guess, in my infancy of, like, discovering her performances and iconic moments and just, like, crazy shit that she's done, right? However, like, even at this point, I have expectations. So, like, if I see the word Beyonce, like, if I see the name Beyonce, there's a certain standard and expectation that I've come to to have right that being said every single time i feel like the same shit blows me away i apologize for my language but it's like how many times can i talk about the same things every single time because she does it incredibly every single time so to me right now like her singing with this much activity and the breath control mind-blowing and i know all the stories you guys have told me all that stuff that's incredible but it just still gets me. And the choreography. I always expect the choreography to be crazy. The choreography is nuts. Like, I, kudos to everybody on this team that shows up, rehearses, practices, knows exactly where they're supposed to be, what they're supposed to do, what they're supposed to say, 
how they're supposed to sound, how their face is supposed to look, everything. Super dope. Super dope. Sorry for my rant. Let's go. Let's go. What you're trying to ask is uh, why am I so insistent upon giving out to them that blackness, that black power, that black pushing them to identify with uh, 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 black culture. I think that's what you're asking. I have no choice over it in the first place. To me, we are the most beautiful creatures in the whole world, black people. My job is to somehow make them curious enough or persuade them by hook or crook to get more aware of themselves and where they came from and what they are into and what is already there and just to bring it out. This is what compels me to compel them. And I will do it by whatever means necessary. Hmm. Which one do you think is better? Powerful. I mean, I think we can use another music master. We can get all the departments. Uh, people who haven't seen the show, like seen the run through over there, are super on the bottom. What this is? Yeah. Great. You know, um, the people who have just saw it are now just they just now started, you know. Okay, so can we see if it's a good time to do that? They can hear What time is it? Now, this is going to be really cool, considering the rant that I just gave. Um, because we're actually, like, this is why I was super excited. Someone did say I could react to just the performance. Uh, but I was like, no, like if there's going to be behind the scenes and all this extra footage and like, you know, everything, I want to see everything. Cause I want to see behind the curtain. Like, how do you get a performance that good? We're about to find out. I grew up in Houston, Texas, visiting Prairie View. We rehearsed at TSU for many years in third ward. And I always dreamed of going to an HBCU. My college was Justin's child. My college was traveling around the world and life was my teacher. I wanted a black orchestra. I wanted the steppers. I needed the vocalists. I wanted different characters. I didn't want us all doing the same thing. And the amount of swag is just limitless. Like the things that these young people can do with their bodies and the, the music they can play and the drum rolls and the haircuts and the bodies and the, it's just not right. It's just so much damn swag. It's just gorgeous and it makes me proud. And um, I wanted every person that has ever been dismissed because of the way they look to feel like they were on that stage. Killing them, killing them. That's powerful. That's super powerful. And I like the way she put that because even though it's about like black empowerment, like that applies to more people than just black people. Like a lot of different races or like whatever can relate to that statement, like being discriminated against. Um, like myself, I'm not black, but I am a minority. Um, and it plays a part like people especially in certain parts of the world assume things about me just based on my look like i haven't even spoken to you i haven't even done anything yet i could just be walking by you in the street and and you would assume something about me so um i like the way she worded that because it it felt a little bit more like 
um, it, it was about me as well because she said anybody that uh, didn't get a chance. But obviously, like you know, we are talking about black empowerment uh, mostly here. So I, beautiful, I like that. On that stage, killing them, killing them. And I want this to be uh, an experience where we all have growth. We all have to push ourselves and have to dig deep inside of ourselves to become better human beings. And I want to start off with a prayer. Um, all right. God, thank you so much for everyone here. Thank you for bringing all of these human beings into my life. God, I ask that this is an experience that we all remember forever. I ask that we're able to touch people and give them hope and make people feel beautiful and strong and united. <laughs> I know we're about to get back to the performance, but can you imagine the pressure that crew must be feeling right now? Like they are about to be a part of a Beyonce experience performance. Like again, there's a standard, there's an expectation and it has to be met. Um, a lot of pressure right now, a lot of pressure. One of my favorite things about that song in particular is the attitude. The Yeah, that's the best way. The attitude behind that song. I love it. Bugaboos. I need a good laugh. You. Make me laugh. <laughs> Did that make us laugh? No. Think about it. Fall in line. Ladies, 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 are we smart? Yeah. Are we strong? Yeah. Have we had enough of the bullshit? Show me.
Yo, let's go. Sorry, we gotta hear that transition one more time. The the I've said this before, like the the intuition to know not even know, but just feel the music, like and that she went from like soft maybe not soft is not the right word first, but she went to that like aggressive like growl delivery and then she went to that super soft, beautiful uh, singing and it's just such a because the growl is like it gets your attention and then she comes in and she just she just you know soothes you I don't know I don't know right here yes Nobody, you gon' make me call somebody. 
Man, do like doing that part, those lyrics, a cappella. Um, and then the, the later part with like the kind of like the like the echoing vocals. Um I just feel like it's awesome because again, it's this intuition in the in music where it's like, I want these lines to really impact and people to really absorb and pay attention to these lines. And so it's like, well, let me make sure that there's nothing distracting them from these lines. And I think that was a perfect use of, uh, of going acapella right there. That was awesome. Coachella! Hey, <laughs> you are. So I have to say, like it kind, this song sounds familiar. I'm not sure if I know this though. Do I know this? I don't know, but I love the instrumentation that's being played behind this right now. It's like, it's like grungy, grimy. Like I don't know if those are the right words, but oh man, I like this a lot. Especially considering that it's called "Bow Down" and she's like "Bow Down, bitches." Like oh, that's so good. Yo, I like this a lot. I like the effect that's on her voice. Um, I, I think it would be considered screwed, right? But maybe not because it's slow. I don't know if screwed, does screwed mean that it has to be slowed, like slowed, slowed? Um, Cause this is kind of like just an effect to make her voice deeper. So maybe not screwed, but anyways, cause I was trying to make a connection like, you know, Texas down South chopped and screwed music. It's not chopped, but Anyways, uh, you see where I was trying to go with it, but I love this. This is dope. Kiss my mama, show that love, pop the bottles, in that club. I hold your cool, this talking lip, guess what I did? Smack that trick, smack that trick. Guess what I did? Go every time, go less fangs, go less times, go less times. Get the city stuck when you turn on the screen. You can get the city stuck when you turn on the screen. Let's go. <laughs> Education must not simply teach work, it must teach life. 
W E B Du Bois. Is that like all the schools that part of the crew are from or did she do like performances at those schools? I'm not sure what that reference was, but that was like obviously marching bands at different schools. There's Jay-Z. Jigga. That's dope, right? So she's saying, like, I could have gone to Coachella to do Coachella, like Coachella's way, um, but clearly she went this way. I like that. That's dope. That's what it should be. There was a four month period of rehearsals with Derek and the band before we started the four months of dance rehearsals yo so she she's saying eight months hold on i heard that right right four months of practice with the band before four months of like started the four months of dance rehearsals the music and those vocal rehearsals that's the heartbeat of the show I wanted all of these different characters and I wanted it to feel the way I felt when I went to Battle of the Bands because I grew up seeing those shows and that being the highlight of my year. my history I studied my past and I put every mistake all of my triumphs my 22 year career into my two hour homecoming performance that's really cool looking at what she wanted to bring to the community and caring about current events and caring about what, you know, her people are going through and wanting to shed light and wanting to put, you know, a proud moment on stage for us, it, it gives you a boost. It's like, wow. Yeah. They heard her say it without saying it. Let's get it together. Let's move forward. Let's unify. All of those things existed in this performance. It felt like we were all connected, and it literally felt like we were in our own university and struggling together. The hours were unbelievable. I don't know if they're going to say the hours, but like four months sounds long. But again, when you look at the performance and the choreography and the timing and just everything that's happening is so crisp and like down to the T, I can imagine that the hours would have been immense. Like, I don't know if they're going to say it, but I'm going to imagine that it's it's a lot, a lot. We did a pass without any music. And just to hear the energy and all the stops and to, to feel the shaking of the risers on the pyramid, to hear the harmonies live was just as entertaining. Oh, that's dope.
Who's this? Is that the Les Twins? Le, Le Twins? Les Twins? That was cool. The end part uh, was really cool. Like the way that they closed it off and ended up in that final position. I want to see that again. Oh, that's sick. I wish I could dance. I like this song a lot. I like this song a lot. I like this song a lot. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna try not to sing. If I sing, I know, like, I'll, I'll see the analytics. All of you stop watching this video right now. I'm gonna try not to sing, but I love this song. If I was driving, if I was on my own, I'd be singing this song. I love this song. I love the crane idea. Sorry about that guys, um, I just had some stuff on my phone that I had to pay attention to. Um, just got to make sure I'm on top of certain things so it's uh, it's all good. Um, I'm back, I wasn't sure exactly where I stopped so I'm going to cut back in here and hopefully it's all good. Did I say I love this song? I think I said I love this song. I'm not gonna lie, I almost backed it up a few seconds, but I'm not going to. Let's keep it going. <laughs> I know 
lost myself on a cool damn night Gave myself in that misty light Was hypnotized by strange delight Under a lilac tree But I think more than I want to think Do things I never should do I drink much more than I ought to drink Because it brings me back you See, now that's so clever in terms of performance. I know I'm cutting off her singing, but I have to point this out. Such a clever performance thing. You have this now that everybody's watching. Everybody's watching this part. And I know the video's cut so that we're watching this part, but even at the show, like, you know, I, I bet like the lights were kind of cut down on the other parts. Like it wasn't a spotlight on Beyonce anymore. This is the main part. Everyone's watching this. And it allows Beyonce's crane that she was on to come back down, her to get released from the harness and transition back to what she's going to do next. So on as a performance thing, very, very, very cool uh, and smart way to have that transition without seeing like the crane come down and get get removed from the harness and all that stuff. Love it. Yes. Right away, my surfboard. 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 Raining on the wood. Raining, raining on the wood. I'm swerving on this. Swerving on this big body dance. Swag, sir. Swag and sir. gotta hear that part again that was so smooth um let's go maybe 30 seconds back so we can hear the lead up to that part that was so smooth the 
You just gotta hear. It. We just gotta hear. Did y'all help me sing his next verse? Here we go. Ah, yes. I was supposed to do Coachella the year prior, but I got pregnant mm. unexpectedly. And it ended up being twins, mm -hmm. which was even more of a surprise. I can imagine. My body went through more than I knew it could. Now that line hits really hard. My body went through more than I knew it could. Um, especially as like my wife has just had a baby. I say just, but it feels just like time flies. He's nine months old, but as a guy who's never going to be going through that, couldn't relate, but like just being on this on like as close as I could be, but on the sideline to that it's unbelievable like she's so strong women are so strong um like some it's crazy like something that's supposed to be nat something that is natural for us to do can be so like scary and and at times difficult uh in certain situations like stuff just happens so uh i feel that line i was 218 pounds the day I gave birth. Mm. I had an extremely difficult pregnancy. I had high blood pressure. I developed toxemia, preeclampsia. And in the womb, one of my baby's heartbeat paused a few times, so I had to get an emergency C-section. Home is something very peculiar. And there's a yearning in it. It's my first time back home on the stage after giving birth. I'm, I'm creating my own homecoming. Oh, that's dope. And that's it's dope. Hard. There were days that I thought that puts so much meaning to the to the title because I wasn't sure exactly why it was called homecoming. And it's hard. There were days that I thought 
you know, I'd never be the same. I'd never be the same physically. My strength and endurance would never be the same. Wait, so what's I in coming in here? You losing like 1,500, 2,000. Calories, yeah. It's true. And eventually, I want to be able to do Soul Cycle, the stairs, and rehearse in a day. OK, lit. I'll be right there with you. And you know, a lot of the choreography is about feeling. So it's not as technical. It's your own personality that brings it to life. Mm. And that's hard when you don't feel like yourself. I knew that's exactly what she was going to say. Because I feel oh, it's hard. I'm trying not to feel emotional because I know that's how my wife feels. Um, my wife had an emergency C-section as well. And like it's just a different process to come back. Like, Yeah, anyways. I had to rebuild my body from cut muscles. It took me a while to feel confident enough to freak in and give it my own personality. spasms and just internally my body was not connected my mind was not there my mind wanted to be with my children what people don't see is the sacrifice yeah. I would dance and go off to the trailer and breastfeed the babies and the days I could I would bring the children Uh, you can see her body changing, her face changing. Like it gets messy. Like it's this, I'm not even joking, it's fast. Yeah. It's doable, but it's fast. That's, <laughs> that's why I said to take it out. <laughs> this is grounding. Yeah. Like, no matter who you are, you get in here and it's real. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> that's what people don't get. That's why. That's why people don't like to rehearse. You gotta be humble. Uh huh. You gotta be willing to look awkward. You gotta study. You gotta be a student. Come on. I feel like a lot of people who like, cause like I feel like there. I know I'm stopping again, but like, I feel like there's a lot of like hate and disrespect that comes towards lots of different artists and people, but uh, like you know Beyonce gets a lot of it. Um. And I feel like anybody who does like hate or, you know, have something negative to say would need to like watch uh, something like this. Um, but, you know, it doesn't matter. Like she, she's an incredibly hard worker. Like, and I'm only like, I assumed, but I'm only learning it through this documentary. So I feel like anybody who does hate needs to watch this. And then, and then, and then see how you feel. This is crazy. sugar, no dairy, no meat, no fish, no alcohol, and I'm hungry. Wait, so what's she eating? Just trying to figure out how to balance being a mother of a six-year-old and um, twins that need me and giving myself creatively and um, physically. It was a lot to juggle. It's not like before when I could rehearse, you know, 15 hours straight. I have children. I have a husband. I have to take care of my body. There she is. Like, follow my <laughs> Oh, 
that's so cute. I definitely pushed myself further than I knew I could and I learned a very valuable lesson. I will never, <laughs> never push myself that far again. <laughs> yeah, because this is crazy. Like a, new, a new woman in a new chapter of my life, and I'm not even trying to be who I was. It's just so beautiful that children do that to you. <laughs> okay, this is seriously a huge accomplishment because I did not think I'd ever get back in my old costume and I'm actually in it. And I can still move. I Yo. still have a ways to go, but super impressive. I've been sacrificing and working hard. Huge, huge, huge accomplishment. Yay! You can see like the face, like huge weight loss. Um man, that's super impressive. <laughs> super impressive. Are you gonna wear it for rehearsal? No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna go out to dinner in it? <laughs> <laughs> Although I do want to tell to go show Jay the big deal. Why you wa take a walk across the street? I ain't walking there. Yeah. Yeah. I, can we talk to Mr. Carter, please? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just had to share. <laughs> Why are guys as excited? <laughs> yeah, I feel like I feel like he probably he probably missed an opportunity there to show some love and support to his wife and be like, "You did so awesome! I'm so proud of you!" Like just anything, right? Mm. 
I love the sudden stops. I love the sudden stops. I just, I like it a lot as an effect in the performance. How did you wake up this morning? Huh. Woke up the nigga looking like me. Woke up the nigga talking like me. All right, I want y'all to repeat after me. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my. I'm feeling myself. 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 Okay. Y'all know this when I want y'all to sing along and bop and bop. Bop. I'm the only lady who's still the realest nigga in the room. I break the internet top two and I ain't number two. My body, my eyes, my gosh. Yo, I've heard the song many times, but we gotta point it out. I'm top two and I ain't number two. Ah, okay. Talk your shit. Talk your shit. Yo, there's three bangers in a row, back to back to back. Not that all her music is in bangers, but these three. See what I mean? The abrupt stops, like, and I know they didn't stop to like nothing, like silence, but that abrupt stop of like 
the drums the percussions the like the up here up here up here and all of a sudden we're down here and we just kind of hear like this this like um orchestral like choir type sounding like aura creating noise that's happening right now uh and i love that effect <laughs> that was dope. Oh, that's dope too. Okay, I think that's a good spot to stop. We just crossed the one hour mark. Uh, I know I said I would go to like 106, 107, but um, I'm feeling super, super tired and I feel like the quality of my reaction is dropping. Uh, I'm having a hard time. So I think this is a really good spot for me to stop. Thank you guys so much for being with me so far. Uh, and it's going to be nice and easy to remember. We start at one hour. We go for the rest, one hour 17 to get it to the end. Uh, I'm super excited to see the rest of this. Honestly, I'm really glad I'm doing it because... Uh, like seeing the performances is one thing but now knowing like the amount of work that goes in and before this it was like an assumption but now like knowing the amount of work that goes in like eight months it's and the fact that she did this a year after having her twins uh emergency c-section um you know she said she was 218 pounds like she had to lose that weight as she's wild wild i'm so su i'm super 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 impressed um, if you guys are still here, I appreciate you spending your time with me. I hope you have an amazing day or night, and I will see you next time.